is local to me that uh, I've got to be good friends with is Dr. Ben Bowers. Ben's going to come on here. Ben has been a, a functional medicine doctor. He started out as a chiropractor. He's been a functional medicine doctor for 38 years. Um, he's actually taught at Harvard. He's taught at Yale. He's taught thousands of doctors um, around the United States and probably around the globe. And uh, he just is like a walking encyclopedia understanding of what the body does. And also why we want Ben to come on here. Some of you have seen him on some different videos is, you know, he's got a bunch of patients that he's put on the fixed product for now uh, multiple numbers of weeks. Um, he's just going to talk about what he's seeing. Once again, I want you to remember the disclaimer. We're not making any claims. It just, um, I think one of the most astounding things, Ben, that you had told me and I was listening to you talk is what fix really does. It's like flipping all these light switches on in somebody's body and some switches are already on and some aren't on and it flips those on. And, um, it a lot fix really is the name says it all. It's like, you know, what do you need fixed? And this could maybe support fixing that. And I know that really this is, uh, you know, about fat loss. But when we have fat that's around our main organs and that starts to go away and that rancid fat goes away, there's improvements in lots of different areas of our health because everybody's different. So, Ben, thank you for taking the time and coming on here and sharing your you're just your wisdom. Um, and, uh, you know, just give us maybe a little bit of your history. Um, and then what you've, you know, how you got started here, but then, you know, you really not only apply this in your own life, but you've watched it apply in a bunch of other people, you know, with other patients. So if you could just share with us for a little bit, that would be amazing. I think people would be uh, highly informed here. Super. Thank you, Byron and Terry and Jim and uh, Dr. Sam. That was awesome. I, I really enjoyed that. Um, for me, for those of you who heard a little bit of story, I'll kind of explain that. Um, first of all, I've been in functional medicine for over 30 some years. I was even involved in the beginning of that type of uh, healthcare uh, way back in the uh, late 80s, early 90s. Um, kind of goes back even before that for me as uh, being in healthcare and having some own personal experiences, why I wanted to become a doctor in the first place. And then my wife uh, had a very rare disease at that time. So it drove me into research of trying to understand why does the body do what it does? And a lot of times we talk about in the clinic or when people come in to see us or even on the phone or Zooms, I go, why does your body present the way it presents? And so when I was asked to come in, uh, evaluate what this uh, product was by a good friend of mine, a lifelong friend, him and his wife, uh, my joke is he tricked me. I had been involved in one other thing that was pretty phenomenal. So I told him I wasn't interested and uh, don't you dare pull out the friend card on me. Uh, so he said, okay, well, how about checking it out for my wife because she's got some problems. So long story short, I did. And I went out to Byron's Lodge and I saw this little presentation. This was before the product even came out. But to be honest with everybody, I left there and go, oh, that's snake oil. I don't have to worry about that. I'll go home and tell my friend, you know, ain't going to work. And for those that have this bent of, of life where you listen to God or the spirit, I feel like he told me that, no, I need to go home and check into this. So for me, I went home and I looked at it and said, okay, I've done research since the 80s. I'm involved with research companies that we research a lot of different products. We research different labs. We research DNA. I do a ton of DNA work, uh, epigenomes on people to find out why is the body having the difficulties that it's having, right? And so when I went home and did my research that night, I just kind of dove into it. I said, well, let me see what the hops really do. I've, been, I've used them for years. I was aware of them. And I was real aware of the sleep uh, issue, of some of the estrogen a aspects, some of the things that it actually calmed down. And what was interesting is I found some of the original research went all the way back to the 40s and the 50s when this was first uh, identified and actually a lot of research was done. And I literally spent hours researching this. And so when I looked at it, I came back and said, okay, in functional medicine, we always ask the question, what's wrong with the body? All right? Our objective is to find the it or collection of its that are wrong with the body and say, can we somehow stop the, uh, the issue? Can we reduce its, what we call it's a, a, a aggravated effect or dynamic effect on it? And if we can do that, then can we stop it? If we can do that, can we eradicate it? If we can do that, can we repair the body? of the damage that whatever the it was that did to the body. So I sit down and I started looking at what this adifite really is and what it really could potentially do. And what intrigued me was the research when I started looking at it. I'm going, well, the primary thing this thing does 
is not only does it initiate the burning of fat, right? But it also goes after a bad fat, if you will. And we talk about all the different types of fats in the body. I won't go into all those different mechanisms, but we know what they all are. And I thought, well, one of the biggest problems of fat rancidity or the breakdown of fats that have been stored is they almost become poison-like. Now, I use that term cautiously. I don't mean it's a real poison, but it has the effect that the body attacks something like it would be a foreign invader. And the number one cause of that is a form of inflammation in the body. So when I start diving into the research behind this, I start looking at it and go, okay, if one of the things that this adiphyte does or this extract, this excipient out of the hops flower has the ability to reduce a damaging effect, wouldn't that be pretty cool if it did that and burned white fat? So the more I dove into it, I started thinking about, okay, well, what are all the other things that this fat rancidity, rancidity or this excess fat really does to the body? Now, we can talk about a lot of different aspects of why the body chooses to store too much fat. We can say it's due to a dietary uh, component. You know, the food that we're getting now is forced food to feed different parts of our body and to stimulate hormone uh, issues to make you want more and more and more. And all those are true, but I'm going to kind of leave that alone for the moment. I'm going to talk about really what happens to the body when we look at what fat really does. Right. Now, when I started looking at that aspect, I said, well, one of the reasons we eat is we eat to have energy, right? Now, if we eat appropriately and we eat fats, proteins, and carbohydrates, the body knows what to do with those. And the fourth category of macronutrients, then it would be minerals. That's what the body needs to function correctly. So when I started looking at that, I said, okay, well, what happens to the fat base side that causes the body to store so much fat? Well, when we start looking at all the hormones that are responsible between what we put into our mouth by the time it hits our stomach, whether we are satiated, whether we are satisfied, whether we are full, or whether we are not. So we jokingly say that filler button is broken. Because if you don't eat correctly or if you're eating incorrectly and you can't tell you're full, you just keep eating, right? Until finally some signal reaches through the brain and says, right? And so when I started looking at this, I said, okay, I understand a couple key factors about what the Adiphyte does. And it goes in the moment you put it into your mouth and it turns on these different receptors or it hits this chemical receptor that immediately goes to the brain, immediately goes to the stomach. One of the things I noticed in the research, it seemed to stop a metabolism issue. And I found that very unique and ironic because one of the things that this hops flower extract does it actually increases the metabolic effect, which we call that digestibility or converting the food you just ate into a usable form of energy. Now, once again, if you consume too much, then it goes and puts it in a storage tank and it's held in that storage tank. Well, then I also knew that all the other things that start happening in that storage tank was poisons, viruses, bacteria, fungi, parasites, uh, excess drug storage, all these different things that get in there, that becomes a problem. And so the body wants to go in and start correcting that mechanism the best that it can. I don't think anybody wakes up in the morning and says, I'm going to overeat today so I can gain weight. That just isn't there. The, the real issue is, is what I'm eating is somehow not being able to be broken down and utilized correctly so that my body can operate in this God-given way that it can do what it's supposed to do. And if we look at all the different factors from people who have done diets, diets, like what Dr. Sam said, the average is 19 to 20 diets people have tried before they come to us. And you look at that from certain types of diets to even starvation diets, all of a sudden we see a lot of dysfunction that's occurring. So when I looked at the Adify and I really started diving into this, I, I came up with what I call the big if word. I went back to another meeting with Byron. I said, you know, if this thing does what it really appears that it's going to do, I don't think we know what we have our hands on. And he kind of looked at me and he said, well, yeah, we know what it is. It's a fat loss uh, a, a product. And I'm like, yeah, but what is fat? And so we started going down that pathway. So what I did, I went back to my office and I sat down and I said, okay, as a functional medicine doc, what is it that I'm going to look for to see what kind of results I get just besides fat loss or weight loss? Okay, now I want to remind people, people say, well, you know, fat weighs more than muscle. And I jokingly say, well, a pound of fat weighs the same as a pound of muscle. 
However, the difference between the two is the size that it is. So if I held up five pounds of fat, it takes two hands to hold it. If I hold up five pounds of muscle, you could easily hold it in the palm of your hand. The difference is the space in which it takes up. Number one. Number two, the difference is how it's actually utilized as a fuel resource. And so then we start talking about that muscle that had fat stuffed in it. Now we even have fatter muscle and that becomes a totally different story. So when I start going back and look at all this, I said, all right, what are some of the things I can ask my clients or patients after I start the, on this product? What are they going to be able to tell me something's changing? Because I knew it was going to be a lot more than just losing weight or burning fat and the clothes fitting better, right? Now, we want that to happen. Let's you and I be honest. That's all of us. We want to see how do I look in the mirror? How do my clothes fit? Am I making some changes? A quick testimony for me is I've been on this seven and a half weeks and I've lost over 12 and a half pounds and over 22 inches of fat or girth measurements off my body. So when I first designed this, I actually wanted people to measure themselves every week so I could see what was happening. And that worked for 50, 60, 70 people. A lot of people did really good on, but there was about five or six that it didn't work on. And that intrigued me even more. So I dug back into the research some more. I said, okay, what is it that this research is really telling us besides just fat loss? Because see, it didn't tell me that people would have more energy, but that made sense to me. If I'm breaking down fat, I'm converting it over to a sugar-based component for fuel, I'll have more energy. But it didn't tell me so much that it was going to decrease their appetite. But it did if I go, okay, well, if I can turn on leptin, which is the hormone that regulates satiation or satiety, that says I'm full, please stop eating, and it starts breaking down more, and I'm burning more fuel, then guess what? I don't have to keep filling up my gas tank because I have a constant flow of fuel coming into my tank, keeping me going. So I was going to start seeing more energy, more stamina, and people should start eating differently. And I want to come back to that in a moment because that's one of the critical things that I think we see that this product is doing for us. But then we start noticing the effects of eating, meaning you bring food in, it has to be broken down, and you excrete out the trash. Right, So think about going to the store, you buy all these groceries, you come in and you make your meals, you have to take stuff out. So we talk about the excrement, whether the bowel moves would change, the urine would change, the sweating would change, the breathing would change. And one of the things I knew that as we broke down white adipose tissue, which is the actual tissue that we are converting here, and we'll talk about the brown adipose tissue, we'll talk about the visceral adipose tissue, the muscle adipose tissue, and then the subcutaneous adipose tissue. And what I knew that we were going to see changes in there, that's why I designed or said, okay, I'm going to go in and measure this body in 18 different places, and I'm going to see what happens. And then I'm going to see if I can go back and extrapolate out of that body, which everybody's body is unique, if I could go back and find out why that body choose to burn the fat off its chest versus its belly, versus its hips, its arms, its thighs, its legs, its wrist, its feet, I could start extrapolating back into over 1,100 systems of the body and figure out where that unique body's dysfunction was, right? So that's kind of what I went to this. I knew that breathing would become easier because when we think about that, uh, we breathe over 24,000 times a day, the average adult does. And so it's 24,000 in, 24,000 out. And I know that breathing out is one of the number one ways that things break down. I wanted to see what this would do. So I just came up with all these questions and just started asking all the different patients or clients or the people that I was working with. They're going, what are you experiencing? What are you seeing? But again, those four or five that saw no difference in four weeks really intrigued me. And so I went back into their cases and I went back into the research. I said, let me see if I can understand something that I didn't catch the first few times I went through all this research. And one of the interesting things I found is most of the research was done around a 12-week time frame. And then there's a few more that were done around a 16-week time frame. And by themselves, they look like they're separate. But when we did a comparison of those and we started noticing, well, first of all, the efficacy of the product of the Adify never changed through the entirety of that time frame. However, some people didn't notice much change until week six, seven, or eight. And then between eight and 12, they had an increase in the results that they're receiving. And then I compared that to the 16 week people, which is another four weeks, obviously into the fourth month. And they even had more increase or 
more or better results that they were noticing. And it was kind of odd because it wasn't really laid out in that typical form. I mean, that, the typical form. But when I look at these double-blind uh, uh, placebo-controlled studies, the highest level of research that can be done that we're aware of in the scientific community, and we start seeing all these role, I mean, all these results. I thought, why? What, what do we have? Do we just have a fat-burning device? Well, if we do, what is that doing? How are we making changes? Right. So we start seeing funny things like. People that had tremors were starting to reduce. People that had brain fog issues were starting to recall things better. People that are having trouble just getting up and walking were doing better. People that were having nerve control issues were doing better. People that are having autoimmune conditions, and I can give you a bunch of those, I won't go into that, but a lot of different types of autoimmune conditions are starting to change. And you sit back as a researcher, you go, wow, what do we really have? And what impact can we make on people's lives? So for me, it's like, okay, almost like Dr. Sam's like, boy, I gotta go tell everybody I know because I don't know all of the results every person's gonna get. Another funny one for me, I, I got a person called me and goes, what is this doing to my hair? And I go, what do you mean? I go, it's shinier. I go, well, hair follicle, it's made of protein and fat. And if you have decreased fat rancid sitting and you have good fat, I mean, I just went through this whole process, but then they start saying it's growing faster. My nails are growing faster. My skin rashes are disappearing. And I started looking at all these things. I'm going, wait a minute. How does that work? So I'd go back to all these systems. Reduce blood sugar. Having to reduce uh, medications. Going back to their doctor and get their medications reduced and even stop on some of them. Because the body is going back into its God-given innate ability and repairing itself. And we talked about this in folks of medicine. If we give the body what it's lacking and get out of its way, God created this body to do what it's supposed to do, and that is to survive and live and thrive. And if I can turn all those things back on, we can make a dynamic change. So those are the things I'm seeing, Byron. I'm telling you, it's just amazing. I, I don't know that we've seen all the benefits we're going to see, but I know the longer we're on this, and with my clients and patients, I say, give me six months, give me a year, and let's see what this does for your body. Back over to you, sir. Hey, yeah, before you...